What's up YouTube, it's Zapdogs TCG here and thanks again for watching a TCG online match. In this video I'll be checking out the Decidueye Vileplume deck which is one of the most hyped decks for this regionals. It is actually doing really great at league challenges all over the world so we're gonna check it out. I already made an episode about this if you don't know uh, uh, yeah, about my channel. I make weekly TCG videos about certain cards and uh, yeah, discuss uh, possible deck combinations like that. In this uh, video we will be checking out Decidueye Vileplume, playing a little match with it and I'm gonna explain how the deck functions. I already made a video, a TCG online match with Decidueye Tauros, uh, uh, focusing more on Crushing Hammer, but this time around it's all about item lock with Vileplume, with Irritating Pulling. We make uh, sure that our opponent cannot play item cards down. We can also not play item cards down, but we have an ability so uh, we can even attack. Uh, without needing energy, so uh, the, the consistency you hear is to get out these uh, Pokemon as fast as possible with the help of Forest of Giant Plants, Feather Arrow makes it so we can snipe someone for two damage counters uh, every turn and this stack, so if you have multiple Decidueyes out, we can do that multiple times for each Decidueye we have in play. Uh, yeah, what are our main attackers? Well, the CGI can be a main attacker with Razor Leaf. Hollow Hunt also is really great in the late game to get uh, the cards back because we are item blocked. Can get yourself the extra Lysander you need. Then again, we also run Tauros. Mad Bull Jax can come out of nowhere. We already know this card, so uh, that's great. We have uh, yeah other attackers like Lugia dealing an insane amount of damage with Arrow Ball. Also Deep Hurricane. Don't uh, yeah underestimate that. It deals 80 damage plus 70 more if there's a Stadium card in play. Most of the time, Forest of Giant Plants gets rid of that uh, because we have our setup. And then you deal 150 damage with the Sniping capabilities we uh, can add it up to 170 or even more if need be so a really really strong card Lugia I definitely suggest putting one in the deck just for that and uh, what else do we run a 4-4-4 line of Decidueye a 2-2-2 line of Vileplume and then Beedrill why is Beedrill so good Beedrill discards two two cards of your opponents on your opponent's Pokemon so you can get rid of the fl uh, the float stones and get your opponent stuck just think about a Volcanian EX without energy stuck in the active position like that with that we have extra turns to snipe so that's really great another example I'm gonna give you if uh, yeah you lie center out the Garbodor get rid of that tool card it's stuck in the active position you have a couple of turns and your abilities work again so that's awesome when it's your, your uh, and an item block situation like that your opponent cannot even attach a tool card anymore like floatstone so Beedrill I definitely I love the card it also has pin missile in the early games could be uh, really great to knock out some ba weed basics because 50 times of the time or 50% of the time we deal 80 damage so that's great can even deal up to 160 damage if you're really lucky so for the items it uh, speaks for itself uh, we run three floatstone four sycamore three and actually I'm gonna change it up a bit because I actually tested something in real life so uh, what am I gonna do uh, with the trainer cards here in this situation I'm gonna get rid of one N and I'm gonna add an uh, teammates teammates is a really great card because I checked it out in real life and it actually helps out quite a bit so yeah, where was I with the deck review? Well, uh, we run now one uh, uh, teammates and two N instead of uh, just running three N. It's really great in the late game getting that DCE, getting the right combination for something. So uh, yeah, with that we also run Timer Ball, Level Ball, two of them. Acrobite, I really adore the card in combination with Re Revitalizer. Just uh, if you use Ultra Ball, get rid of some Pokemon and uh, yeah, uh, you can get them back with Revitalizer. The same goes with Acrobite. Look at the top two cards of your deck and then discard one. If you have Revitalizer already in your hand, this is really great. Get rid of a Pokemon. You can get that Pokemon and get the top card as well. So a really great card. Uh, you're just only running one or two because Trainer Mill is uh, definitely better in this situation. Anyway, you can also run the promo Jirachi, but on the TCG online program, it's really hard to get it. So uh, I suggest uh, trading a bunch of stuff to get it online because uh, yeah, it's kind of rare on the online. Uh, in real life, it's not that rare. So there's that. Also next week, or actually uh, in two weeks, I have a, uh, a great tournament coming up. So there will be a tournament report about that. Uh, yeah, I'll be playing the Sidewai Vileplume. It's uh, sort of my list, but uh, I still need to add some changes here and there. So for now, we are just gonna test this deck out on the versus mode. I'm gonna see what opponent waits us on the other side of the world. All right, I already have a bunch of standard decks and I'm, for now we're just gonna play the Sidewai, uh, Tauros. Also the versus uh, ladder is not that great at the moment. We can get a Thunderous uh, EX if we win, but eh. That is uh, not something we want. Uh, definitely it's great and expanded maybe with electric or something, but for now I don't really uh, need it. Uh, besides that, uh, other decks I'm gonna focus on are, are <laughs> yeah, what I'm gonna say. There is a, a next set, Guardians Rising, there are a bunch of uh, decks that will be made with that. There's Aqua Punch, if you don't know these uh, new cards, go check them out on my channel, the recent videos, because I uh, mostly review all the new information as fast as possible, lightning fast like that. And uh, yeah, our opponent has a really great Pikachu coin. It's Nick Camp 2, and uh, it's actually a girl, so uh, I do think so, maybe it's a guy, I don't know. We're just gonna call it my opponent. 
I would like to go first. My deck revolves around getting stuff out on turn one, so uh, why not go first? We start with nothing in our hand. Thank God we didn't start with that. Even though, yeah, we already have a victory, which is great. Our opponent sees that uh, we're playing uh, a Decidueye deck and she already scoops, so there's that. Okay, so this deck is really popular. So that's why people already concede because Vile Plume uh, is really annoying. If you play, I, I had a couple of matches where I play online and uh, get out Vile Plume on my first turn, and then they scoop already. So there's that. We're playing against Psychic Darkness Carlos deck against Felter. So this is our match. <laughs> uh, let's see what uh, how it's gonna turn out. Our opponent is uh, loading the game. So uh, we're waiting on that. He has an Ivaltal coin, so I kind of predict an Ivaltal deck. Could be wrong though, maybe it's Darkrai. So uh, let's see what it goes. He is calling a coin flip and uh, I lost the coin flip, so I cannot start, which is unfortunate. But then again, we can attack on the first turn. We have Lugia for an attacker, we have Tauros as an attacker, and ooh, they're shaman, not gonna bench that. This does not look very promising. We need to draw into a supporter, otherwise we're kind of stuck next turn. Or maybe an Ultra Ball, or maybe a Dark Tricks. Anything goes for the matter, we need to draw a card. So we're gonna see how it goes. So wow, we're facing a Tauros. Kind of interesting because we need to one-shot that Tauros, and otherwise it uses Mad Bull GX and uh, yeah, we're kind of screwed. So we'll see how it goes. Our opponent can start running a Psychic Darkness Carlos deck. We have to uh, be careful here. He uh, does have sleeves of the World Championships, so maybe it's a really great competitive player. We do not have the great setup right here. We don't have a supporter, we don't have Ultra Ball, and he's playing Secret Rare Trainer's Mail. Ooh, we can kind of be afraid. He has N. This is awesome. If he uses the N, we're in a better position here because, uh, yeah, <laughs> we don't have anything in our hand except for the Shaman. So please use N. Parallel City is going down as well. We can only play 3 bench Pokemon, I also deal 20 less, 20 less damage with our grass type Pokemon, so not that interesting in this situation, but he uses M, which is awesome, we didn't have the greatest hand in the world, but uh, for now we have the Beedrill, Ultra Ball, so we're uh, kinda set for the match. I don't think he will play Garbodor though, but I could be wrong, maybe this is a Garbodor deck with uh, Tauros, so we'll have to see if he pl places his uh, uh, Trubbish down, definitely gotta go with the Beedrill, because we don't want uh, the, to be ability locked, because our uh, deck mainly revolves around abilities, so we don't, want, we don't want that. Okay, we have a Tauros of our own, not that bad, we're gonna bench the Oddish, also gonna get down the Forest of Giant Plants, gonna bench that, uh, yeah, evolve that to Gloom straight away, why not do that? And we are gonna Ultra Ball something. Uh, I don't see Trubbish right now, so uh, I'm gonna get rid of Beedrill. We can get it back with Revitalizer anyhow. I'm also gonna keep that older Ultra Ball open for now. Or maybe we could use Tauros. I'm uh, kind of debating on that situation. If we yield 60 damage, he can use Mad Bull GX and knock us out. So I'm kind of hoping to do something else. I just wanna keep the Ultra Ball for now. Maybe we can get out uh, Item Lock on our first turn. That would be better. For now, we're gonna get out Shaman. We see... We can definitely get out Valtoon, there are two in our deck. We see out two Rowlets, two Dartrix. So we can only evolve to two uh, the the Sigui because there's a Dartrix price. Oh, actually two of them. Four DCE and then uh, three uh, Grass Energy. So there's that. Always check your deck, guys. You don't wanna... You want the knowledge to know in the late game. So we're gonna draw five cards, which is not uh, that bad. Definitely gonna draw into a supporter here. Or maybe not. We're just gonna bench that uh, little Rowlet right there. For now, I think a level ball is sufficient. Or maybe a Timer Ball, we'll see how it goes. We're gonna use Timer Ball, there we go. Tails and Head, so 50% of the time we can get that. We can get out a Dartrix, we also have another Shaman going, so uh, we can do that. We have the Sigui in the hand with that. I think we're gonna go for that, we don't wanna get Vileplume out just yet, because otherwise we lock ourselves out as well. So for now, uh, a Dartrix will be do the trick for us. There's that, just gonna evolve the active one, I don't think so. The active one will get destroyed anyhow, so we're uh, just gonna keep it safe for now and evolve the one on the bench. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We also did not get a yeah a supporter just yet, so we're gonna get out another Shaman. I know it's unfortunate to get your, your bench filled up with two Shaman, but then again we only can get out two sh uh, dart, uh, Decidueyes anyhow, so not really complaining here. We're just gonna get out yeah six other cards right here. So this is the, the speedy play here. Hopefully we can get out the Vileplume as well. 
We have a bunch of uh, new cards. We have another Oddish. We can use another, uh, yeah, <laughs> card right there. We have the, yeah, Trainer's Mail. We can get out the, the Forest of Giant Plants. Not that it matters, though. So, we didn't have anything. We can evolve uh, our Decidueye, which will mean we have a second Decidueye on our second turn. Or actually, this is our first turn. So, you see how uh, crazy this deck goes. We're also going to end here. There's nothing we can lie, Sender. So, uh, there's that. We get, get the Floatstone. That's what we want. Always want the Floatstone at the beginning of the game. On that Gloom, otherwise it can get stuck in the active position. Also, we can give an Energy. With the Hollow Hunt GX, we can get something out. But uh, is that the right play, though? So we're going to use Trainer's Mail, see what we get. We have the Sycamore. For next turn, I think I'm going to build up Yeah, the CGY on the bench. We can use the, that attack to get cards back from our hands. Like an N, a Beedrill, or a Tauros. But I will wait with that GX move for the late game. So for now, just gonna go with this method that the Sigui does have a float stone, so we can retreat anyhow. We're gonna use the feather, uh, feather arrow. Poof! And next turn, we will use that attack. For now, feather arrow for 40 damage on that uh, Tauros is efficient. 40 times times three. He can maybe knock out uh, Shaman X with a Mad Bull Jacks, but that's fine by me. That way, we uh, clean up some bench space, which is always nice. Uh, we have the Sigui on the active position, so that means. He will definitely need to deal uh, 240 damage to actually deal some damage. So wow, we see the yeah that Fighting Fury belt is unfortunate. We did uh, want to get out that uh, Fighting, uh, what was it again? That Gloom, or actually Vile Plume. So uh, select the Pokemon to be discarded. Uh, fine by me, gonna discard the Shaman. We don't need that. So we cleaned up the bench base, uh, bench base already. So he's using Sycamore. So next turn we definitely want the item lock going on because uh, yeah in this situation we will always need Beedrill so maybe Revitalizer can be the way out in this situation to uh, get rid of that tool card because uh, oh yeah it's at Valtel and Valtel is coming to town so uh, yeah Horn Attack 60 damage or actually I think it was Rage in this situation I'm just gonna use the Level Ball or actually, let's see, the level ball won't do anything in this situation. We don't need another Gloom, that's for sure. Or actually, yeah, we don't need another Gloom, just gonna get rid of that for now in the discard pile. We don't want to draw into Gloom, so that's why I'm doing this. We're gonna place down the Forest of Giant Plants again. We're back to the forest, guys, and now a Sycamore will be kind of great in this situation. We have the Lugia dealing 80 damage, which is not enough. We have the Decidueye, 90 damage. Still not enough. The 90 damage won't be efficient. So uh, I think for now we're just going to go for the item lock. We don't want more Fury Belts attached. Also going to bench this Lugia. And we will destroy that Tauros once we draw into our next DC, uh, DCE. Because there's not a single DCE. So next turn we definitely have that. With the DCE we deal 150 damage even more. So uh, that will be efficient. For now I think we're going to snipe something else. Feather arrow on the Iveltal, maybe the Tauros. Yeah, the Iveltal is the ideal target here. Getting some more prize cards thanks to that. So yeah, next turn hopefully we draw into that uh, card that we need. So for now he will only be able to deal 120 damage, which is still not enough to knock out this Decidueye. There's no uh, teammates in the discard and stuff, so maybe we can sacrifice something, but he is item locked though, so we're kind of safe, so no Max Alexers or any shenanigans like that. So we'll keep, keep it at that. We also have Lysander, which is awesome. Next turn, we Lysander out something like that Eveltal and getting a bazillion damage on it. Okay, maybe we should have attached to the Decidueye on the bench, but we'll see how it goes. Horn Attack still coming down. 70 damage. All right. Trainer's Mail, we have the Sycamore, we can Lysander out something. This one has two retreat. Need to know. Uh, the Trainer's Mail is something we cannot use. We also have an energy that uh, we're gonna put in the discard, but then again, we can get the, 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 the double Carlos energy, which is awesome. So I think I'm gonna go for that method. We can Lysander out and get something stuck, but we don't want to be that, that guy. And we don't get the DCE. Yeah, lucky for us. So it goes. Uh, for now, Feather Arrows again. Gonna get Feather Arrow on this Iveltal. Why not? Actually, if we deal uh, 150 damage, 190, 
still not enough. Gonna get uh, some damage on the Tauros, but then again, his uh, attack will deal more damage. 80 damage, 80 damage is still not enough to knock us out, but he will do the Mad Bull GX probably. So for now, I think I'm gonna... Yeah, what am I gonna do? Gonna attack the Iveltal. Iveltal is not something we need to worry about. 90 damage and then a snipe. So I think I will go for the active position one. There we go. There's still DCEs in our deck, so uh, we really have to be careful here with the attachments. Uh, that Lugia needs a DCE. For now, I think I'm gonna retreat. Uh, yeah, 60 times 3 is 180 damage. I think I'm just gonna sacrifice a Rowlet. Maybe I should do that or gonna go sacrifice something else like the Vile Plume, so that way we can use Revitalizer. Oh, what's it gonna be? Just gonna go for the Hollow Hunt, this one. We have cards in our hand already, so uh, we can get out the Lysander, the Bee Drill, and uh, yeah, what else can we get out? This is actually kind of the situations where you need to think before playing, before otherwise, uh, <laughs> otherwise you deal uh, some misplays here and there. Okay, we only can use the Hollow Hunt GX in this situation, so we are gonna do that. We are gonna get out Bee Drill. No timer ball, that's not what we need. A Lysander. We also have N. Yeah, this is a kind of situation we don't have the Dartrix, which is in our prizes, so there's that. We're also gonna get out the N, why not? Ending our opponent is always great. Tauros is also nice as an option to attack. This is a kind of the situation where I, I really don't know what to pick, but uh, we're just gonna go for that. Next turn, Lysander, and uh, hopefully we can get the DCE. Kind of the, the setup here. We already have damage into play, our opponent as well. So he can't play Lysander and knock out a Decidueye. That is something he can do, but next turn, if we draw into that DCE, we will get rid of that. So he's also item locked, so uh, we have to uh, definitely uh, think about that. Our target here is that uh, Eveltal. Eveltal uh, only has uh, 110 HP remaining. So another D darkness coming down on the, the Eveltal. So I think a Mad Bull GX will definitely come down here. Which is, uh, yeah. Oh, a regular Rage. No biggie here. We draw into the DCE. Uh, finally, we deal 150 damage though. But we cannot, ah, uh, maybe we should've, shouldn't have uh, retreated, but uh, then again. Next turn, we can do that. We deal 150 damage anyhow. Alright. There we go, snipe. And another snipe coming down on I felt all. Okay. The thing here is we need to get out of the active position. So uh, I think a Lysander can do the trick. We still have one, another one in our deck. Or we can just take another hit from this uh, Tauros, which will deal Mad Bull GX. This is a situation where I don't know what to do. We can end. That is something we can do. We can Lysander to get our opponent stuck. That is something I really want to try. The tool cards won't work in that situation. We're just gonna go for this method. Why not? He is stuck in the active position. He will need a DCE to retreat. We're just gonna snipe and uh, stall our opponent to destroy that. We still have another Lysander in our deck though, so... This is kind of the, the weird situation here. We can also end. So yeah, what guys would you do in a situation like that? Definitely let me know. Really interested in your uh, commentary. We don't have our Decidueye. That is not great. So, snipe coming down. I felt all will uh, not last another turn. And uh, I think we're gonna end here. Hopefully uh, our opponent does not draw into an energy. And uh, we'll see how it goes from there. So we have the DCE to retreat later on, which is great. And if we snipe something and get the prizes, we might get even get out our other dart tricks. So uh, that's that. It's unfortunate that it's prized though. We have the DCE, so we can deal damage. I don't know whether I'm gonna... Yeah, we can attack right now. 
or uh, wait with the attachment. So if we attack right now, that Evalpal can come in and deal a bunch of damage. So for now, I'm gonna keep it in my hand and see what our opponent will do next turn. Next turn, that Evalpal is going down for sure. If he uh, decides to attack with it, I think a Mad Bull GX can come down, which is kind of unfortunate. But our Lugia can strike in later, so. Oh, there's an end coming down. Let's see how it goes. Could have also retreated that Decidueye. And attacked with Lugia already, but uh, yeah, we have Lysander, no biggie there. Alright, Pitch Black Spear. Interesting situation. Okay, for now, I just want my Dart Trick, so I'm gonna snipe that, uh, I felt all. It's uh, in my way for way too long, so let's get rid of that. Hopefully Dartrix, we can pull it. Let's see how it goes. Dartrix! Nope. Nope, still not getting it, so we cannot snipe another turn. We have the Sigewide, though. We can attack. We can Lysander. We can Lysander that one out. Why not? It has 60 damage, so with that, we will deal 150. 150... Oh, we are still not getting there. But that Shaman is kind of safe for now. So we already have another DCE set up. So for now, this is a situation where I'm just gonna attack, I believe. Or just gonna wait. We, are having, we have another DCE, so we can uh, try to destroy it. 150. 150 plus the 60 damage. It's 210. We are still not getting there. We're one snipe away. I think I want to save my snipes. So I'm going to give a DCE. Yeah, next turn we will definitely get the KO. So there, I'm not worried about that. We can retreat, wait, stall out. He will definitely uh, one-shot anything. So for now I'm just going to go for the Razor Leaf. Why not? Dealing 90 damage on that. Lugia is still safe for us. He, he could have one shot at anything, so uh, there's that. 60 damage times 3, 180, so there's that. We just need want to have the pressure going on. We have teammates. If he knocks us out, we have the ideal situa uh, situation to win. So he's gonna retreat in this situation. Which is great. We can might might give uh, the Beedrill some time to shine. Sniping two times and attacking with that... Uh, 60-60, he gets two prizes. Good for him. Who would have expected that? So the Knight Spears are dealing some damage here. We can use the teammates. I like the situation here. I'm just gonna show you something. Just gonna go for teammates. Why not use it? We have uh, another Decidueye which we can get. Which is great for sniping. The Forest of Giant Plants is still into play. I think I'm gonna go for the end. So this is a long matchup, so it's kind of a strategic thinking going on here. I think I'm gonna go for Beedrill in this situation. Yes, Beedrill is coming down. So uh, we are just gonna retreat to the Beedrill. Uh, we are gonna discard the Double Carlos, of course, that's the only thing we can do. We are gonna attach the DCE right there. Gonna snipe twice on that Tauros. And we're sniping again. And he says, well played. This is well played, actually, because we will knock it out with that. All right, we have Dartrix, finally. It was priced. And we, uh, yeah, what else can we do? He will not be able to destroy Beedrill. He will deal 60 damage on that uh, Lugia. So there's that. Our Beedrill is our ideal star card. So 60 damage coming down on that. And uh, yeah, for now, we can use the double scrap. But that won't do anything. This card has two cards attached to your opponent's Pokemon. And uh, he doesn't have any, so... Uh, yeah, he does have a bunch of cards in his hand, so there's that. Night Pitch Black Spear, poof, damage coming down. No biggie. We want, uh, what else can we do? Sniping is the way to go here. 
that Tauros does not is not the threat here. So yeah, just gonna put on some damage. It's 40 damage. I don't want to have more damage on this guy. 40 damage times 3 is 120. Uh, yeah, which is enough to knock out Lugia. Kind of interesting. He can knock out our Lugia. But uh, yeah, let's see how he, how he does after we destroy stuff like that. So uh, yeah, this uh, Tauros has 80 damage on him. 60 and 60. Is that enough? We're just gonna end. We're just gonna do the mat later on. So yes, we wanna end. Okay, we got another Decidueye. Eh? Not bad at all. Uh, we will retreat because that sniping is causing us a, a, a lot of trouble. Yes, and here comes the... Uh, we can use Arrow Ball here. 20, yeah, Arrow Ball will deal uh, a significant amount of damage right there. We can get our, our another prize card. Poof. So maybe we shouldn't have attacked that Tauros, but we do have another energy. So there's that. We'll see how it goes. Taurus will destroy our Lugia though. Wow, what a matchup. Maybe I shouldn't have uh, dealt that much damage to the Taurus and uh, did it later on, but uh, yeah, you know how it goes. But then again, he had 40 damage, so I think he would have uh, destroyed us anyhow. Or maybe he had 20 damage. Hmm. Mad Bull GX, 240 damage. Wow. He is still item locked though. 4th of giant plants. <laughs> Gonna place down the uh, Rowlet, why not? Rowlet deals 10 damage, I see. So uh, we're dealing 60 with the snipe. Will he get his last two prizes? Does he have the Lysander though? Will we be able to destroy him? I don't think we don't have another DCE, so uh, we cannot draw into it. So we use all our all our DCEs already. Yeah, I think we're just gonna go with uh, the luck of the draw and see how it goes. Mm -hmm -hmm. We're kind of stuck, so <laughs> we I don't know how it goes in this situation like this. We can snipe for twenty. And I think we need another 20 for next turn, so Feather Arrow. And another Feather Arrow, does he have the Lysander? Does he have the Lysander, guys? This is kind of uh, interesting. Did he already use one? I don't think so. I think, I think he has the Lysander, though. He has item locked. His heart is broken. Which means he did not get the Lysander. You have a good deck, yeah. This is a great deck. Maybe I made a little bit of misplay to attack that Tauros. I already admitted that, but uh, then again. Our Vileplume is go going down. And uh, yeah. You see how good this deck is? A bunch of damage on me, but we still not... Uh, we shouldn't have go with the, went with the B drill here. We, we are back getting our items back. So uh, we can get out the Dartrix, but it's not even needed anymore. Dealing a bunch of snipes. Poof! More snipes coming down. I'm gonna snipe you to death. So uh, the things to remember in this matchup is when Dartrix is priced, it's kind of eh. And uh, the thing you also should realize is B-Roll is really great to disrupt of the tool cards, but I forgot that the Fright Knight ability of the Evil Tall wasn't played to destroy his own Tauros. So there's that. So maybe I should have went for something else. But yeah, you see, I, I win regardless, even though it's a great deck. So always be careful what to play and uh, think, think three steps ahead, guys. So anyway, this was another TCG Online match. If you enjoyed it, definitely rock smash the hell out of the like button. And I will see you guys soon with more TCG videos. So stay subscribed. Peace out.